I found a tool that edits my videos in just three clicks. This AI video editor automatically cuts out any mistake I make and any silence that appears. And let me tell you, the mistakes I make add up into the hundreds per video, but that time is over. I uploaded this raw 30 minute recording and the AI made 555 cuts, leaving a 15 minute video out of the initial 30 minute file. Since implementing this into our workflow, I have saved my editor hours and hours of brain dead work. And I want the same for you, which is why in this video, I will show you how you can use this AI video editor to instantly finish any talking head or vlog for that matter. And the best part is you don't need any technical skills. And in case you've missed it, simple talking head videos without any crazy editing have been trending for the last six months on YouTube. This is the tool that I'm talking about. It's called Gling AI. I will leave a link for you in the description down below so that you can follow along this tutorial. And how this works is that you need to get started by uploading your raw file, which is exactly what I'll do. So I'm gonna upload my pic AI review. First of all, I can select the language that was spoken in the video, which in my case is English. For you, that may be any of these languages right here. Additionally, if you have the script for the video, you can upload that right here, which will help with the transcription, but that is not necessary. Next up, you can click on continue, and that's when Gling AI is gonna ask you what you would like it to do. Automatically selected will be cutting out the silences as well as the bad takes. And these two right here is exactly what manually will cost video editors a lot of time. So I recommend keeping these selected and then clicking right here on the edit button. What Gling AI is now gonna do, it's gonna cut out all the bad takes that I made in that 30 minute recording and leave only the correct parts of the video. And trust me, the raw file has a bunch of errors. Check this out. First of all, so I'm gonna click between the which is how you can make bulk that. Oh, nah, bro. Yeah, okay, you get the point. I make a lot of mistakes. But when Gling AI is done, this should all be removed. And there we go, it is done. If you click on this play button right away, it will still show you all of the uncut material, including all of the mistakes and the things that it cut out. So if you wanna watch the new edited video, you can click on skip cuts right here. And if you now play it, it's gonna show you only the good parts of the video. Let's see what that currently looks like. With pic AI, you can convert scripts into videos, turn articles into videos by simply pasting the URL, you can edit your videos using text, so no software or skills required. And you can then apply your own voiceover or high quality AI voiceovers to that video to finish it all off. As you can see, it did that quite perfectly. It now has zero mistakes and it flows nicely. In the bottom right corner, we can see that it made 555 cuts to this video. Now imagine you're a video editor and you have to first of all watch through the entire footage and then also make all of the manual cuts. That's gonna take you up to two hours for a 30 minute file. With Gling AI, this took just two clicks and two minutes, which is insane if you think about it. So they've done a really good job there. The video went from 30 minutes to just 15 minutes, as you can see right there. Now for the beginning 40 seconds of my raw file, it actually trimmed it down perfectly. But let's say that the AI makes a few mistakes, which will always happen. And it actually did for me as well. So I just searched for Nico in the editor, which you can do by clicking right here. You can search for any word within the transcript. And if I search for Nico, which is the name of my editor, you can see that this still shows up. In order to remove any mistakes, you can simply click on that part of the script, just like this. It will then skip to that part of your video, which for this mistake is at 216. And in order to now remove it, all I need to do is click on this scissor icon right here. And there you go. It has just cut that part out as well. Now you can see that I say that quite a few times. So here I can cut it out again. And then by default, the AI has already cut out this part as well. And you can do that the opposite way as well. So let's say that the AI cut something out that you would like to keep in. You can simply select it by doing this and then clicking on the uncut button right here. And then it will be added back in. So this entire process is extremely simple and quick. So now that it has completely edited my video, I can do a couple things to make it even better by clicking on the enhance button right here. First of all, I can add smart captions by simply clicking this button. I can add jump cut zoom ins by clicking this button, as well as remove noise from the audio. I definitely recommend you do this one at all times. The two above kind of depend on the type of content that you're making. If I click on remove noise from audio, you can see that that will automatically apply it, which for larger files might take a while, which is definitely the case for me as it's a 
30 minute recording. So I will leave this running in the background while showing you how you can manually adjust the settings as well. So because it automatically makes all of these cuts in your video, sometimes it might go too quickly or too slow which you can change by clicking on pace right here. And then you can choose to set the pace. So for example, what you can see here is that if I set the pace at 0.5 seconds or more, it will be cutting out 262 pauses in the video. But if I drag this along to the left side and set this at two seconds or more, it will only cut out 94 pauses in my video. So if you would like to keep certain pauses in, for example, 1.5 seconds or more, you can simply drag it to that part of this bar, then click apply and then we'll then do so. On top of that, you can also split parts of your video in case you wish to. For example, let's say the 20 second mark, I can select that then click split and then you can see it becomes a on its own video. I can then do that here as well. And the reason you might want to do it is that you can add a zoom in at this part of the video. The way I can do that is by selecting the clip, clicking enhance and then click jump cut zoom just like that. And then just like it did with the audio, it will now be applying that to the video. So as you can see right there, this is what that then would look like. Now you can play around with how far it zooms in as well as whether you want it to zoom in at the center to your face. So I can zoom it in way more, which looks like this, which is not the best shot. So I will drag it down a bit more to the left, let's say 1.15. Now my face is already at the center by default of me recording, so this doesn't really do much. But if you would have been on the left side of the screen, it would zoom in to that side onto your face rather than right into the curtains, for example. So they thought about that as well. I wanna show you what that currently looks like. And there we go. That's where we'll make the jump cut zoom in. It's very easy to adjust that. Simply click on the yellow icon right there, and then you can turn any effect on or off just by clicking on the button. And just like that, within a few minutes, I have trimmed down and cut out all of the mistakes that I made in a raw recording of 30 minutes with just a few buttons in just a few minutes. The amount of time that this tool saves me for just $20 a month is absolutely insane. So it's now time to render our video, which we do by clicking export in the top right corner. You can render this as a normal video file, but also as a format that you can open in a different video editor. You can kind of look at Gling AI as a pre-editor, where you cut out all of the mistakes automatically, and then you take that new file, which does not have any mistakes, and that's where you start editing all the crazy effects and all the heavy work let's say. I really like that they've done that and I also think it really does fit a purpose because this AI video editor is perfect for simple talking head videos or vlog style videos where all you need to do is cut out the mistakes that you make. I will just render this as a normal mp4 video and there we go it just started exporting my file. So I have now saved myself 557 cuts by using this AI tool which I can really recommend you try. I will leave a link to Gling AI in the description down below. You can indeed get started for free with this tool. They also have paid plans, which come in at $15 a month and $30 a month if you pay monthly, and only $10 or $20 a month if you pay annually. I'm on the annual pro plan, so I only pay 20 bucks per month for this, and this saves me hours per video, so it's more than worth it to me. So if you make any sort of video where you have to cut out hundreds of mistakes, which takes up a lot of your time, please try this out for yourself. I'm very confident that after using this, you'll never go back to manually doing it. With that said, leave a like on the video. Let me know if you've got any questions about this in the description down below, and then I will see you next time.